And welcome back folks to Let's Play Back to the Future Game. Now, I'm unsure what was... What am I doing now? Let's see. I see Wayne, let's go. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Damn you again for lagging. What I'd like to know, if that's supposed to be a blueprint of the flux capacitor, why is it still lighting up? I mean, no, it's supposed to be a logical flux lagging game. Right. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on a kid? Hey Trixie, look over there! Why? <laughs> Not all trick. Didn't you see it? No. Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Yeah. I guess who's waiting in the alley to talk with you? Buddy? The one and only. It wasn't easy to track him down. I had Come to... Come for me, cue ball. I'm taking a smoke break. Atta, girl. You shouldn't be smoking the air edge. Oop, you know something's going on. Stop fucking you. Hey, you! Huh? Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my unit. No, it wasn't. Sorry, pal. I don't have time for a fight. Why, you? I'll never get to Carnegie Hall at this rate. <laughs> All right, fella. I think you're done for tonight. Hey, where do you think you're going? Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I... How was that? Trixie? Break silver cue ball. Whatever you say, babe. Shouldn't you not be calling them that? Because that's just kid's girl. Okay. Now I think there's enough trophy. Can I get it yet? Oh yeah, I can. Where's the? There it is. You in? Why not? I can't remember which. One. Is it better than odd? Let's go for odds. Twenty-six. Ah! I think there's like a certain combination you have to do. You win? On red. I'm gonna put it all on red. Two! <sighs> now, did you hear that, folks? That means it's getting close. You win? Um, even. Even's my lucky number. Twenty one. This isn't my game. Come on. You win? Come on. 29. Ah. I, there's like a certain combination to it that, uh... You win? I can't remember what it is though. Something tells me black's gonna hit. Uh, 
Seven. Damn. You win? Double zero. Two. <sighs> See, there is a combination to this that if you do it right. You win? You actually. No, no, I didn't mean to be leaving that time. Double zero. No. You win. I can't remember the combination. Eight rats. Hey, I know you. You're Parker. Oscar Danny Danny Parker Hill Valley PD. Uh, have we met? Y you look my failure. Nah. Well, stranger, sit down and have a drink on me. See you later, Dan. I'll be here. I'm supposed to get this guy to arrest Kid Tannen tonight. Come on. I don't need to do. You win? Just want to get this combination down so I can show you this. Two! <sighs> I think I was gonna. Danny! You! Stop talking to me. I'm not sure, but I think if you talk to him, it greases. You see that wall behind us anyway, folks? That's you a win? passage, but if you can get this right. What do you know? Ah! You win? Come on. Come on, it's gonna be that one. Seven. It's <sighs> gonna do my head in. I can't remember the combination. You win. Twenty one. This isn't my game. Come on. You win? Try two more times and then if it didn't do it after that. Twenty six. Ah. See it just annoys me how it keeps walking away afterwards. You win? Two. <sighs> okay, let me just keep trying double zero. Danny. Yeah. Stop talking to him. I'll be here. You win? Seven. <sighs> See, I don't like it when it walks away. It's annoying. You win? Let's try again. Two! <sighs> I don't know, I'm gonna give up now, but if basically there's a combination with that, I can't remember what it is, but it unlocks that passage back there and I might not be able to get it just yet, so. Let's go talk to this guy. Hey, what? Do you know what happened to Trixie out there? She seems pretty freaked out. You talk weird, you know that? But no, I don't know nothing about Trixie's emotional state. 
kid doesn't pay me nearly enough to pour drinks and babysit his crazy girlfriends. So everyone in the Wall of Fame are enemies of Kid Tannen that have coincidentally been killed? Enemies, rivals, guys who look to Trixie the wrong way. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Who are you working on now? Boris Karloff. What do you think? Not bad. Yes. Talk to you later. Hey, look, a paying customer. You think you could draw a picture of this guy? Sure. Hey, that looks like that Artie McFly think. Hmm, I never noticed that before. Hey, uh, can you give him a hat like Artie wears? Should I come back for it? Suit yourself. Nice Louis enough. the Louse, squashed in his prime. Bucktooth Langley. Bit off more than he could chew. There was a few of these. One of these. Uh, Chuckles Lenard. He didn't get the last laugh. That's the one I want. That gives you no trophy. Let's go talk to Kid first. Oops. Danny. You. I hear you've been having troubles. Troubles? Buddy, nobody knows the troubles I've seen. No, Want to talk about him? Do, do I? Do I? Lion King reference that yeah, I do. Listen, it all started when this car. Every morning, every evening, ain't we got fun? Not much money, oh, but honey, ain't we got fun? Whoopee! Yeah, now about those troubles. Oh, I don't want to wallow in misery. I came here to get out. Hallelujah! In the winter, in the summer, I'll see you later, Danny. I'll show you outside in a minute. Just Time's a go kid. Getting bummer. Still we Dan have fun. Ew, stop talking to him. There's see you later. Sure earth, the rich get rich and the poor get children. In the hey, meantime, kid. What is it, squirt? In between time, ain't we got fun? What's that wall of fame all about? That, my tiny friend, is where I pay tribute to fallen foes. Cut short in the prime of life before I had a chance to cut it short myself. They're the guys you've whacked. Whacked? Uh, rubbed out. Not many legally actionable sense, no. Whacked. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> How long have you and Trixie been going out? You mean knocking boots? Oh, about a year now. That's a long time. Tell me about it. I keep meaning to dump her for a newer model. But then she starts singing at me, and I remember why we got together in the first place. Love? Free nightclub entertainment. <laughs> mm, nice. It's good to see you doing so well. The boys down in Sacramento. Sorry about that, folks. I'm losing my door. Ah, oh, damn it. I can't get that, uh... I can't get that message again either, so you've got half of that. Sorry about that. Uh, what was... That's a nice place you got here. Ain't it? I picked out all the statuary myself when I was traveling through Greece. I can tell. It's got that tan and touch. Thanks. See you, kid. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you're nice. Let's go see if that character has been made yet. Hey, what? Who are you working on now? Boris Karloff. What do you think? Not bad. So is your cold all better? My cold? Yeah, when I saw you a few hours ago, you were sneezing like crazy. I, I ain't had a cold around. in over two months. Oh yeah, right. Sorry. Wrong guy. Talk to you later. Hey, look! A paying customer. No, oh, shut up. Let's go talk to Trixie for a bit. Hmm.
Danny. You. So about those troubles, I... See you later, Danny. I'll be here. I feel like doing something with Danny first, I think, so... Sheet music. First we need a sad song. Come to me, my melancholy bear. Nice voice, I must admit. Cuddle off and that and will put a scar in her sad mood. All your fears are foolish, Betsy. And now we can talk to him. You know, dear, that I'm in love with you. Officer Park, you're not. No, Every Officer Park. No. Danny. You! So about those troubles. They all started on uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tannen's walks when this uh, this car went straight out of Buck Rogers popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later I, I lost track of a witness. The poor slum hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. And not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. I Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me. Aww. Cause she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty, as in Jennifer's grandma, Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, that shit sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. We don't want that. You've got a secret? What is it? I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. No, you don't. You don't but think listen. Anyway, man. Yes. I like you. You're my new best friend. See you uh, later, you know, Danny. I'll be here. here. So let's turn this sheet music to the secret song. Video, folks, we will sort that out. See you then.